Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with uh, InfoList Builder and in my case we are in the user resource so I created this view user and show here the name, email and the, and the created also. Now because we are in the user resource we have also the table here and if I go to the edit we don't have the form so we see just the edit user here the same when we click create a new user and in this video I want to change that so I'm going to create a form but on the create I'm going to show something that I don't to hide I want to hide in the, on the edit and the same on the edit I want to show some uh, inputs uh, which I want to hide on the create page okay so on the create I'm going to have the name email and the password on the edit I want to have the name email and also a new password and new password confirmation so if we want to update the password let's do that so first let's open the filament documentation and the form on the form builder here we have a text input we have also other fields but we are going to work with the text input and to create uh, input like this we need to say text input name make name for the name and let's copy that and come here we are inside the re user resource in the public static function form inside the schema I'm going to paste that text input let's import and let's copy and paste also for the uh, email and for password okay so this is going to be for the email and this one for the password let's change that let's say email here and let's say password here save and let's see on the browser what we have now if I refresh yeah we have the name email and the password and just let me add some styles here so I'm going to make like a card and if you go here to the layouts we have a layout here and you can see we have a grid field set tabs wizard section and placeholder I'm going to use only the section now if you want more about the layout leave me a comment in this video and I'm going to create a separate video about the layout so to make a section we need to say section make and it's going to do something like this so here we have uh, the title and some description in my case I'm going to add only the title so let's open our schema here and I'm going to cut a text input and say section and I'm going to import from the filament forms make and here I'm going to say user details and we need to chain the schema add an array with text input okay let's go and see now yeah we have something like this and as you can see now the name input takes all the width if you don't like that you can say for example on the section we can say uh, columns to be two and if i say like this refresh now we have the name and the email right here if you want for example the password to take full the width we can say on the password we can chain the column uh, column span full which is going to take the full width if I refresh as we can see yeah but I'm going to leave the default so let's remove that and refresh okay now if I go to the edit yeah we have the same and the password is empty because we have hashed the password and uh, I don't want to see the password on the edit as I said this password field is uh, input is going to be visible only on the create. Also, let's add the uh, validation, and let's uh, start with the uh, name. So the validation for the name is going to be only. I'm going to say re required. So it's going to be only the required. For the email, I'm going to say required, and also I'm going to say uh, unique because the email is ne needed to be unique and we can ignore 
early called the bitch rule. Now let's start with the password. The password is going to be required when we create because only there is going to be this visible. It's going to be required. It's going to be password also. And let me just indent this. I like that. I like that. So let's indent also this one. So for the password, we added the required password. Also, we need to make this hash and to do that, we can say dehydrate state using and we need a closure here. So let's say fn dollar sign state and let's use the hash from the illuminate support hash make pass in the state dollar sign state here. Okay, as I said also, this is going to be visible only on the create user. So I'm going to say visible. And we need to add a closure or a boolean, true or false. So let's say fn and I'm going to use the live wire. Only this is going to be visible only if the live wire is instance of the create user okay so if we are in the create user page it is going to be visible and uh, we can add also rules here so we can say rule and i'm going to add a password default rule so password we need to import from the illuminate validation password default let's save and you can go and see more on the validation section here okay so all the available rules if i come here and refresh go to the new user and let's say i as you can see now we have aster red asterisk here because the name email and the password is required so the admin example com is used and let's test this so i'm going to say test here admin example add uh, one to four let's say create and yeah the name email the email has already been taken and also the password field must be at least uh, eight characters good refresh and let's say just test test at test.com and add the password create okay now we have created a new user and let's go to the users and here it is now let's go to the edit let's work with the edit we have the name in the email we can for example update the name save changes and if we see we have the test view but if we want to change the password let's create as i said a new password section here let's come here and let's uh, create a new section i'm going to copy this and paste down there now this is going to be user new password and remove this two text input is going to be new password it's going to be not required because maybe we want only to update the name or the email so the new password is going to be nullable it's going to be password. We are going to remove the dehydrate state. Uh, visible is going to be only if the live wire is instance of not the create user but the edit user. And the rule is going to be the password default. Okay, now let's uh, add also the text input for the password confirmation. The password confirmation is going to be password. Okay. This now is going to be the same as a new password. So let's say same. Okay. And also this new password confirmation is going to be required when we fill this new password. For that we need let's open the validation here and if we scroll down 
I think we have here, yeah, required width. We can change the required width and add another field here. So let's say required width and add here the new password. Let's save this. Now if I come here and refresh, yeah, here we have the new password and new password confirmation. If I remove this, save changes, saved. So we are okay, but if I uh, type something here, save changes, yet yeah, the new password field must be at least eight characters and the new password confirmation field is required when new password is present. Good, now if I type something here, it's not going to update the password. So let me check, we are in the to the test user and let me open the table class test user and take a look to the password hash here. So let's say I'm going to add one to eight here. Save changes, we have saved here, but if I refresh, nothing happened. And that's it because we don't have the new password in the fillable of the user. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the edit user. And here we need to create a new method. So let's say public function and the function name is mutate for data before save. And inside here, we have an array dollar sign data and it's going to return the array. Okay, so we can search here on the filament documentation. So let's search for the before save. So customize data before saving. And yeah, here is the example. Array data returning the array. We need to return the data here. And in my case now, so let's say something like this. So first I'm going to check if we have that new password field. So I'm going to say if, and I'm going to use the array key exists. So in the array key exist, not this resource. Yeah, this resource is going to be the new password. So if the new password exists in this data, or I'm going to say also is field of assigned data new password. In this case, what I want is to say this record password. I'm going to change the password here to be equal to with and I'm going to use a hash here also make hash make and pass the data pass new password yeah like this and return the data because we need to return data here save and let's take a look now if I come here as you can see we need to return the data and let's refresh first and let's see here if I refresh we are in the test user and take a look to the password hash. Okay, I want to change the password. So let's say uh, one to nine. Save changes, saved. If I come here and refresh, yeah, the password is changed. And let's uh, also update the name and update one to eight now the password save changes saved and if I refresh again yeah again this changed okay friends that's it about uh, this video so we have here now the full user resource with the table to create new user and as we can see now I forget to hide the new password confirmation. So for that, what we need to do is 
because as you can see here is only the new password confirmation not this one this one we have hide but instead of copy this and paste all sort of the new password confirmation i'm going to cut and add it directly in the section so now the section all the section is going to be visible only if the label wire is instance of the edit user okay come here and refresh yeah now we don't see when we create new user and when we edit we can see that so let's uh, zoom it out yeah okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends to help me to rank on youtube all the best friends